most important thing about learning how to brew is learning about different beer styles. And there's no better way to learn about different beer styles than experience. So I'm here at the Melt Barn Grill in University Heights, just trying to get my drink on. And we're having a little beer school today. And uh, you know, there's a lot of people enjoying their drinks here. And excuse me. Hi, 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 hi. Hey, hi. Hi there. <laughs> so. I, I just let me explain myself. I'm interested in brewing and I'm trying to learn about different beer styles. I just wanted to ask you what you're enjoying here today. It's a Breckenridge 471 small batch. A Breckenridge 471 small batch. Small batch. That sounds fancy. Um, and how do you like it? Very good. Very good? In what way? Just all fulfilling. All fulfilling. All fulfilling. That sounds good. Man, can I try some? Can I? You mind? You mind if I have a? <laughs> no, really, it's cool. I'll drink. I'll drink out of the other side. Right. I'll drink out of the other side. Which side were you drinking out of? This side. All right, I'll drink out of that side. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah, that's some good stuff. That is good. That's some good stuff. Yeah, I. That was very generous of you. I hope I didn't drink out of the same side you did. That kind of grosses me out a little bit, but I'm sure it's cool. So, and how? Do, and are you are you enjoying the IPA? I am. Why don't you just? Uh, you're kind of cute, you know. Are you guys married? Is this a marriage? Yes, we are. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, when she goes to the bathroom, we'll talk. Okay. okay? All right. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking about trying one of these Brooklyn concoctions. Uh, I'll let you taste that before I give it to you. What? What are you trying to tell me? <laughs> that it probably doesn't taste very well. Well, I'm trying to learn about different beer styles. Okay, so, okay, do you guys like give samples? I do. I'll give you a little beer school. I do want a bit. Can I? I, I will give you. Can a I just? Can I? Can here. I try them all? Professor Terrell, <laughs> beer 101. Come yeah. So I can try them all? Not all of them, no. Oh, them. well how many? How many can I try? I'll, I'll do a little bit of each one. Or like a, I'll give you like four right. five tiers. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do this. All right, my friend, uh, what's your name, buddy? Terrell. Terrell? Terrell's 101. Terrell, nice to meet you. Terrell, I'm Karin. I'm Karin, the home brewing hobbyist. Okay. Terrell's going to teach us a little bit about uh, home brewing today. Right. we got some different uh, beer styles down here. This Why don't you tell us what we have? We have on tap. This is okay. the 471. It's a breakfast. Uh, All right. It's a small batch IPA. Don't drink it like that. Mm. <laughs> don't drink it like that? I mean, did you taste everything? I didn't taste anything. Well, how do I do it? Am I not doing You're it? not supposed to. It's not shot. You got to let it sit. Yeah. You gotta let it sip it. Oh, look what happens when you drink it fast. You get oh, it's gone. Not wow. Slowly. It was better the second time. You know how your tongue works? <laughs> All your sweets. Tell me about how my tongue works. All your sweets are in the front. Sweets in the front. All your salties are in the back. Salty in the back. Slowly. I'll go slow this time. Yeah, I don't know. Oh god, that tastes like ass. That tastes like a dead guy's ass. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why it tastes so bad, I don't know how you know what a dead guy's ass is, but the reason why it tastes so bad, first of all, is the hops. So, so hoppy, so bitter. So hops, hops give it the bitterness. That's a more bland. See, we're learning here. We're learning about our tongues. That's very good. This right here. You gonna finish with that guy? It's a German, German hefeweizen. You ever had Blue Moon? Yes. I have. Blue Moon is a Belgian wheat beer. 
Francis Garner is a German weed maker, so that's a nice one. It's, uh, you usually have like a banana flavor to it, you know. Banana? I like bananas. You're changing my life. I, I tried to. <laughs> Man, he wasn't kidding. I got a little banana there from my Hepavitesen. Yeah. That's a wheat beer, correct? Yes. Are All we right. drinking the first one? This is uh, Riders of Coke. If you were in Germany, that would be like, yeah. If you were in Germany, Germany? that's like okay. German is like beer, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is banana. It's like German Bud Light. It's their, <laughs> what I'm saying, it's like their standard. It is. Okay, we got a, we got a standard German Bud Light here. Which one is this? It's a Kolsch. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to say that's pretty darn close to American Bud Light when it comes right down to it. You want to try? My new friend here is going to try some, too. What do you say? How's you, did you do the tongue thing? I did, but the banana really does taste like banana. It does taste like banana. You didn't like Rogue? Um, that guy? So far, I'm like the one that I really just chucked down in the beginning. Like, we had a, I had a full one. Fran kept stealing it from me. Ninety minute IPA. Customers. Nine, did you order a ninety eight? We're going to be, we're trying to get. Every, every Terrell's back. Avery's our rascal. This is in Ohio. What is it? White, white rascal. rascal. White rascal. I like the sound of that. It's a uh, Belgian white ale. A Belgian white. Is this more wheat? You're giving yes. me. Yes. What if I'm gluten free? Is this going to cause a problem? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. All right, all we're gonna go. We're gonna follow Terrell's instructions. I don't think you're doing it. Yeah, no. <laughs> we're not even halfway through the list, Terrell. <laughs> oh, that's got a little spice, a little spiciness. I'm using my tongue. There you go. That's got a little. You want to try it, Fran? Very good. A little too close. The only thing I really didn't let you taste was the stout, the cider. Oh, come stout, on, stout, buddy. Stout. We bought I'm sure you've had two a stout. more. Just two more. <laughs> Have you had a stout before? Have you ever had a Guinness? I'm learning here. This is a learning experience. I think there are two. Just two. <laughs> that was good. It's not them. It's her. Yeah, it is her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make your video. Toronto is not. If I'm going to use them. No. I know. <laughs> We're trying to talk to Raul into a few more samples. It's a stout and a cider. We might have to give him a little more. A stout and a cider. Let's, let's I'm a little curious about what Terrell's put in front of me here. It's a pear cider. Really? Suspiciously looks like water. <laughs> yeah, it's probably. It goes down like water. Pear cider. I like the sound of that. Is it fizzy? You got a fizzy? Is it fizzy? Riders. Riders pear. I believe it's out of New York. Oh, yeah. It's on, right? Yep. Yeah, this goes down easy. I have to agree with Terrell. Like, He's like a strong bump and a hard cider. Mm. Okay, okay. Okay. And that's the left hand milk style. What's this? Milk left style. Left hand milk style. Left hand so milk style. Guinness gets very distorted. Here very dark in States. color. Very, very distorted. So the left hand milk style is more that traditional stout flavor. It isn't something about the maltiness and how they roast it is different from Guinness and it's because Guinness is very so good. Trouble. I am left handed <laughs> and I am enjoying my left hand. You're drinking it with your left hand. With my left hand. Yeah, it has a little more, but that's just because of the trout. Terrell, I just want to thank you for being such a good sport. I hope I educated you in some way. I feel educated. 